गाइज एम दान एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो टूडे इस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द टॉप थ्री फेस मास्क विच आर मेड अप ऑफ पटेटो सो दीज ऑल आर पटेटो फेस मास्क एंड ऑल दीज फेस मास्क आर हाईली इफेक्टिव इन ट्रीटिंग योर पिगमेंटेशन डार्क स्पॉट एक्नेस कास्ट पिम्पल मार्क्स और इवन पिम्पल्स दे ऑल कैन रिमूव योर सन टैन एंड हैज अमेजिंग एंटी एजिंग प्रॉपर्टीज इन टू इट पटेटो इज आर द मेन इंग्रीडियंट ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री फेस मास्क एंड पटेटो हेल्प इन स्किन ब्लीचिंग स्किन लाइटनिंग स्किन ब्राइटनिंग स्किन टाइटनिंग एंड इन मेकिंग योर स्किन रिलीज क्लेयर spotless glowing and extremely bright so to prepare these face masks we firstly going to need two potatoes just taking these two potatoes and cutting them into two halves now using a grater we have to grate these potatoes so that it makes a smooth potato paste and if you don't want to grate the potatoes you can also blend it into a blending jar and make a smooth paste out of potato and after grating it well your homemade potato paste is ready and we'll use this potato paste later on to prepare a face mask now just take a little bit of this potato paste aside and straight out the rest of the potato paste because we also need potato juice to prepare our face mask and after straining your homemade potato juice is ready and it will look something like this so now let's just firstly see how to prepare the first potato face mask to treat skin pigmentation dark spots and acne scars so to prepare this face mask we firstly going to need sandalwood powder and here i'm taking approx 3 teaspoon of sandalwood powder into a clean bowl after that you are going to need honey and here i'm adding 1 teaspoon of honey into it now after the honey we are going to need glycerin and here i'm adding 1 teaspoon of glycerin into it after the glycerin we are going to need the potato juice which we just made and here i'm adding 2 to 3 teaspoons of potato juice into it and after adding the potato juice now i'm just going to mix all these ingredients really well to make a smooth paste and after giving a slight mix to all these ingredients now it's the time to add the last ingredient which is milk and here i'm using raw milk but if you don't want to use the milk then you can also use rose water and now here i'm adding 2 to 3 teaspoons of raw milk into it and after adding raw milk now i'm just going to mix everything really well to make a smooth and a lump free paste And after mixing everything really well your homemade sandalwood and potato face mask is ready and the consistency of this face mask should be medium which is neither so thick and nor so runny as i'm showing you in the video this face mask has sandalwood which is a very good ingredient in skin lightening skin brightening and in skin whitening as well and potatoes are really good in clearing out your skin and it also treats pigmentation dark spots and acne scars problem this face mask has all the ingredients which are really good in making your skin really bright glowing spotless clear. Layer and has amazing anti-aging properties into it. And now let me show you how to use this face mask for best results. So you can apply this face mask with the help of a brush, or you can even use your fingertips to apply this face mask evenly on your skin. So here I'm just using a face mask brush to apply an even layer of this face mask all over my skin. and you can use this face mask on your face or you can even use it all over your body and after applying an even and a thick layer of this face mask all over your skin just leave it to dry completely for about 15 to 20 minutes and after 15 to 20 minutes rinse it off using normal water and then pat dry and moisturize your skin and for the best results you have to use this face mask twice or thrice in a week now let's move on to the second potato face mask which will really help you in skin brightening skin lightening and in deeply clearing out your skin you firstly going to need orange peel powder so firstly i'm just taking 2 tsp of this orange peel powder into a clean bowl next up you're going to need lemon juice and here i'm adding 1 tsp of lemon juice into it after that you're going to need vitamin e oil and here i'm adding 1 tsp of vitamin e oil into it after adding the vitamin e oil you're going to need potato juice so here i'm adding approx 2 to 3 tsp of potato juice into it And after adding the potato juice, I'm just slightly mixing it up so that they all mix with each other nicely. And now, lastly, you're gonna need milk. And if you don't want to use the milk, then you can also use the curd or the yogurt. And here, I'm adding two to three teaspoons of milk into it. And after mixing everything really well, your homemade dark spots pigmentation and acne scar removal face pack is ready, and it will look something like this. This face pack is rich in vitamin C because it has orange peel powder and lemon juice into it. Vitamin C is really great for your skin. It treats all the skin pigmentation and dark spots. It removes the pimples and the acne scars, and will make your skin clear, glowing, and hydrated. This face pack also has potato juice into it, and potatoes are really good for your skin. 
skin it treats your skin pigmentation dark spots and acne scars permanently and makes your skin crystal clear and spotless within no time it also has vitamin e and milk into it which are really good moisturizing ingredients they moisturizes your skin from within and hydrates your skin deeply now let's see how to use this face pack for best results so you can apply this face pack with the help of a brush or you can even use your fingertips to apply this face pack all over your skin so just apply an even and a thick layer of this face pack all over your face and neck and after applying an even and a thick layer of this face pack just leave it like that for about 15 to 20 minutes so that it can dry up completely and once it dry up completely just rinse it off using normal water and pat dry and moisturize your skin and for the best results you have to use this face pack once or twice in a week now the third potato face mask is rich in anti aging so it will fade away your wrinkles and fine lines and will also make your skin crystal clear bright glowing and even toned and to prepare this face mask we firstly going to need orange peel powder and here i am taking approx 2 tsp of orange peel powder into a clean bowl next up you are going to need rice flour and here i am adding 1 tsp of rice flour into it after adding the rice flour just give a good mix to both these powder ingredients so that they mix with each other nicely after that you are going to need honey and here i am adding 1 tsp of honey into it After that you're going to need grated potatoes. So here I'm adding approx 2 tablespoons of grated potatoes into this mixture. And after adding the grated potatoes, I'm just giving a good mix to all these ingredients. Now you are going to need milk. And here I'm adding approx 2 to 3 tablespoons of milk into it. And now after adding the milk, I'm just giving a good mix to all these ingredients again to make a smooth paste. And after mixing them well, now it's time to add the last ingredient, which is the vitamin E oil. And here I'm adding approx one teaspoon of vitamin E oil into it. And now again, I'm just giving a slight mix to all these ingredients so that the vitamin E oil could combine into this mixture. And after mixing everything really well, your homemade dark spots, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, and uneven skin complexion removal face pack is ready, and it will look something like this. This face pack is filled with vitamin C, rice, and potatoes, and the combination of these three ingredients gives the best benefits to your skin. It helps in skin brightening, skin lightening, anti-aging, in removing the dark spots, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation. Acne scars and in removing all the sun tan from your skin completely. So now let me tell you how to use this face pack for best results. So to apply this face pack, just use your fingertips and apply a generous amount of this face pack all over your face. After applying a thick and an even layer of this face pack all over your skin, just leave it like that for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until it dries completely. And once it dries completely, just rinse it off using normal water and then pat dry and moisturize your skin. And for the best results, you should use this face pack twice or thrice in a week. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys super soon with a brand new video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.